I mean, when I first walked in, my feeling was, wow, this is like a real grown-up home. Actress Naomi Watts, who's most recently been starring in the Netflix series The Watcher, spends most of her time living in Manhattan with her two kids, Sasha and Kai, who she shares with her ex, Liev Schreiber. As you might expect, Naomi lives in a super chic apartment located in the heart of the city, which she reportedly bought back in 2012. Not to mention, Watts also owns a lovely home on Long Island, which boasts five bedrooms and plenty of space while also feeling warm and welcoming inside. Also, Michael and I have dropped our own house tour of our new home that we moved into this year, so go ahead and subscribe to our personal channel if you wanna see where we're living and more of what we're up to. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. The Manhattan apartment that Naomi calls home was a space she put together with her former partner, actor Liev Schreiber, but now she shares it with her children. The space has two separate units, one of which was an artist's loft that got combined into one home, or large, spacious duplex, if you will. However, shortly after buying their Tribeca real estate in 2012, Hurricane Sandy struck, flooding the space and leaving things a mess since it's located near the Hudson River. The former couple couldn't enter their home for months. And when they finally did get in, it was a disaster. First, they hired an architect, but changed their mind months later and two years into owning the property, it was still an empty space. In the end, Naomi called on Ariel Ash and Reynaldo Leandro of the design firm Ashy Plus to help them with the interiors and things went from there. Walking into the impressive Manhattan home, there's a double height entryway that has a historic feel, which offers a winding staircase and black and white graphic style floor tiles to give it more of a contemporary feel. Then in the main living room, the space is open plan with large black framed windows along one wall letting in natural light. There's also velvet covered sofas to lounge in the modern yet cozy feel. The home also offers a library and screening room on the first floor, which also serves as a space that Naomi takes meetings and studies scripts. Designer Leandro said about the project, I had drawings in four months and then we did the entire renovation in 10. It was insanely fast, but fun. Naomi brought a great eye and taste to the project and was a terrific creative partner. The open yet private layout of the home second floor feels urban like a classic loft and throughout the home there are soft touches in the design for contrast. The large open plan kitchen has pendant lights, a wolf microwave and other designer appliances as well as a checkerboard concrete tile floor. Aside from the bar style seating there's also a cute breakfast nook or banquette off to one side. Other highlights include a dining room with large wooden table for more formal meals or entertaining, a green lacquered bar cove off of the library as well as a stylish playroom for the kids, and elsewhere, a home gym. Aside from the guests and children's bedrooms, Naomi's master suite has a plush designer bed, a vintage Italian bench, and fabric covered walls. Over in the ensuite bath, it showcases a black and white modern color scheme, along with features like a standalone tub and black washstand sinks. Throughout the duplex, you can see touches that Naomi placed in the home, like the rugs she purchased in Morocco and that kitchen banquette, which she insisted on. When Architectural Digest previously asked Naomi about her fave thing in the home, she said, This will sound crazy, but I lie in bed at night and think I can't believe after all these years in New York, I finally have a walk-in pantry. More recently, Naomi has shared glimpses inside this home from time to time, and we can see it offers the same bold interiors and touches like its distinct black window frames. In the living room these days, there are two crimson colored sofas and another which is plain black. We saw the black sofa when the actress was pictured having a nap. And there's also an abstract piece of art in a glitzy gold frame above. In a more recent Thanksgiving post, Naomi's Instagram followers could see her kitchen again when she posed by a chef who came in to cook her turkey. We can see the space's double ovens and kitchen cupboards with glass doors that Naomi chose for a restaurant style look. When Naomi wants to unwind with her family, she can get away from Manhattan to her retreat located on the shores of Long Island. Located in Montauk, the home which was reportedly purchased around 2016 for $5.4 million by the actress is close to the ocean and about three hours from the city. Her home offers a traditional shingle clad exterior while the inside boasts an open plan layout with about 3,500 square feet of living space. 
There are details like wide plank flooring as well as five bedrooms and a sprawling living dining room with vaulted ceiling and exposed beams. Here, there's also a gorgeous double height beach stone fireplace on one wall. Other features in Naomi's home include a kitchen with center island, a cozy den, and outside there's a grassy lawn, swimming pool, and a pool house. Naomi's home is warm throughout, offering plenty of white walls contrasted with wood for a natural rustic feel. The renovated kitchen further opens to the living areas, and the actress made sure to display a handful of family photos throughout the space too. It seems that while she isn't with her ex leave anymore, Naomi chose to put down roots in Montauk, so she's still close to where he lives. And since they share children, it keeps the family united. Her brother also lives nearby. Naomi further finds comfort living close to the water, and this home is set atop one of Montauk's highest points. Property boasts amazing views of Lake Montauk, Fort Pond Bay, and the Atlantic Ocean. Naomi has said about this home, What I fell in love with about this house was the water view. That's just just so calming. And the light, I love that airy and bright feeling. Naomi, who describes herself as a homebody, typically spends her weekends with family and friends, cooking, playing cards and games, and drinking wine by the fireplace. An appreciation for the simple things. While Naomi is an East Coast dweller these days and has been for a while, it wasn't always like that, and she and her ex formerly owned a home in Brentwood, Los Angeles for a handful of years. In 2012, it was said that since they were purchasing their Manhattan duplex, they first put this home in the rental market for 20 k per month. This mansion resembles a French country village and offers amazing views of the California countryside. The estate was ivy covered and tucked behind gates at the end of a quiet street in the Helenas, one of the most exclusive and romantic areas in Brentwood. The home was full of open spaces, light-filled rooms, and much more. Out front, there was a charming courtyard entry, which led into common spaces like the formal living room, dining room, media room, and an open kitchen family room with additional breakfast nook. Most of the main rooms in this home opened via French doors out to the handful of patios, including a trellis-covered outdoor living room and out back, there was also a grassy lawn, swimming pool, and picturesque gardens. Naomi's former master suite here boasted a separate office, soaring ceilings, renovated ensuite bath, and private balcony. While elsewhere in the house, there was a home gym. Property was complete with a two-story guest house. While Naomi Watts traded in that Brentwood home for her spots on the East Coast, we can see that it was the right decision for her, and she seems to love where she lives with her family. Either way, that's gonna wrap up this house tour. But before we go, let me ask you this. Would you rather have one stunning estate in Los Angeles or two stylish homes on the East Coast? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below as well as what you liked or didn't like about Naomi's properties. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. My name is Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat further, and I'll see you all in another tour. Bye.